What's happening, everyone? Thanks for tuning in to another episode of KMRD Radio Stuff. Today, I want to answer a question that came across the Twitters that I was tagged on uh, about getting your logs from Hammers to Poda to Logbook of the World to QRZ. And I just want to show you what I do to make all that happen. So it's very, very simple. Let's dive in and I'll show you how to do it. So the first thing we got to do, obviously, open up the Hammers app. Now, this top uh, log I have not uploaded yet. So we can slide over, go to the gear icon, and we're presented with a list of options. We can edit it, we can duplicate it, we can export an ADI, we can, do, we can delete it. I want to export the ADI. So we're going to click on export ADI, and then that's going to automatically bring up an email. And I'm simply going to email this to myself. Now you could also email this directly to the POTA people. Uh, in fact, let's do that. Let's do K8 at parks on the air. We'll just call it log and please and thank you. All right. Now I can send that and that is done for the most part. And now that I have my email, I'm just gonna right click this and save it. And I'll just save it to my desktop just for the heck of it. All right. And now that I have this on my desktop, I'm simply going to right click it. I'm going to open with and my logging software is called Aether. I'm going to open it with Aether. I'm going to open it into an existing log because I just want to add this to my current logbook. And if I'm on the right screen, we might see that. So here we are. We can see all of these contacts from the 18th have been added to my logbook, okay? From here, all I have to do, uh, now it puts the signal report in the uh, kind of the CW portion, so if I wanna make any changes, I can simply uh, just highlight everything, okay? And since it's POTA, everyone gets a 5.9, you get a 5.9, and you get a 5.9, everyone gets a 5.9, okay? You can make any other adjustments if you want. And for example, I'm just gonna hit look up call signs and this will look up everything. I can see this guy's got a little bit of missing data and that's okay. So that'll fill in any call signs. Now notice the sent logbook and received logbook are all not checked. So all I have to do with this software is hit sync online QSLs and upload successful. And if we go over to Logbook of the World, you can see I've got 6,900 uh, QSOs right now. And when this updates in a second, let's actually hit refresh, see if it updated already. Sometimes it takes a couple minutes. So we'll come back when it updates. But what happens with Aether under the sent Q QSLs, this is going to check off all of the QSLs that I've sent to Logbook of the World. Now, when Logbook of the World receives these in this column, it's going to check off the people who have confirmed. So it's a really neat logbook. So, okay, you can see like Costa Rica. I got Costa Rica on 10 meters. So that was awesome. And that's confirmed. Whoops. So anyone that's confirmed checks off this blue box. So very, very cool. Let's see if Logbook of the World updated yet. And there we are. So now I have 7,070 QSOs in there. Now, from Logbook of the World, I can go to QRZ and download from there. And you're simply going to go to my logbook. Yeah, 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 who cares? I'm going to head over to the settings. We're going to scroll down to Logbook of the World import. You're going to enter your password for Logbook of the World and import from Logbook of the World. And there we are. We've got 47 new confirmations, 103 records added. And you can see, hey, there's my buddy Jose. So all these people from that activation on the 18th are now in QRZ as well. And now, just to show you how cool this logging software is, now that everyone is in Logbook of the World, I'm going to hit upload sync or sync QSLs again, and it's going to do a little circular beach ball thing and any of these QSOs. So we can see here, whoops, those are checked now. So these are all contacts from that activation 
that have been confirmed in Logbook of the World. Just that simple. So now it's in my logging software, it's in Logbook of the World, and it's in QRZ. And I also emailed it to Parks on the Air. So very, very simple. It takes only, uh, I don't know, maybe two minutes to do the whole thing. So simple. And that's it. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned a little bit of how to get everything everywhere and, and neat and organized. And uh, if you got any questions, leave them in the comments. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. Surely somebody found value in this. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. We'll catch you again on another episode of KMRD Radio Stuff. 73, guys.